Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, we're out foraging again. It's early September and I'm in Worcestershire. And here's a mushroom that we find. If you want to come down here, show you the youngest one first. Here's a mushroom that we find on probably every foraging expedition we ever go on. There's a tiny baby, slightly bigger one, an even bigger one, and over here, the biggest one of this little set. Now, as I say, this is a mushroom that we see on almost every foray we go on, so it's a good mushroom for any forager to know and be able to identify, especially because it's very poisonous. Now, this mushroom's called the brown roll rim. There's two types in the UK. And uh, actually, looking at how thick the stem is on this mushroom, I think this is the second type, Paxillus atrotomentosus. The more common brown roll rim has a thinner stem, and that's Paxillus involutus. The reason it's called the brown roll rim is pretty clear. You can see the brown rim rolls under. You find that with a lot of mushrooms' names. They're, uh, they're very good at helping you with key identifiers of the mushroom. The gills on this are always brown and they run down the stem a little bit and if you bruise them they kind of go mushy and a little bit browner. Now as I say this is a mushroom that we find on almost every foray we go on um, and raw it is actually deadly poisonous. Uh, it is eaten though in certain parts of Eastern Europe this is not something we would recommend to anyone though what uh, people do in those countries is they'll boil the mushroom, they'll throw away the water and then they'll cook it again or pickle it. Uh, I think pickling is the normal process and then after all of that it's considered edible but unfortunately later science says that even after you've processed it through all those different measures uh, there's still a toxin left in the mushroom that builds up in your body over time and if you eat uh, too many of the mushrooms, just the one too many one day, uh, your own immune system attacks your red blood cells and you can die from something called immunohematological anemia, which is as bad as it sounds. So uh, we don't go with what the Eastern Europeans say, we don't eat the brown roll rim even after it's been well cooked and well prepared and we recommend you guys do the same. Like I said, this is the fat stem version. Normally the stem's a little bit thinner, but in every other way, this is exactly the same as its little brother, the brown roll rim. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.